everyone welcome back to undead world hero survival so we have two new heroes dropping today with a huge update so we'll start first with uh, mr jack jack belonging to collegium um by the way i think this is a wise decision for them to to give another hero to collegium collegium by the way needs a lot of love as you can see here they are kind of underpowered at the moment i i really feel that the only ones here that are worth using are uh meredith and connor so again jack is a nice addition to their group so let's see what jack can do let's go first with his passive so it's called brain freeze uh jack and the nearby allies get eight percent increased sp okay skill points jack's basic attack inflicts freeze one freeze attack stack reduces movement speed and attack speed by 3.5 percent for all for eight seconds after 10 free stacks the target is frozen for three seconds this is a good very very good um passive especially when you talk about skyscraper stages they're becoming in waves and with this passive jack can already uh what do you call this can do a lot of debuffs movement speed reduction attack speed and eventually frozen on the 10th stack okay level two gain bonus increases to 12 percent level three increases effect rages so it just gets bigger so this is a very a perfect passive uh for me i think this applies to all stages but definitely this is going to be helpful in waves or in mobs of zombies next is going to be your ice block places a shield on ally with the lowest hp so again um another support uh, what they call this support uh function by the way he is of support class um and ice shields last for eight seconds and increase the defense by 70 percent so again a good support to the lowest hp ally so at the start of the game um uh, most most probably he can identify your lowest hp ally enemies who attack the shield are inflicted with a single attack stack of freeze so this adds to the the stack of freeze level one is increased defense to 100 percent and level three increases shield duration to 10 seconds so again a good support to the lowest um hp i hope i, I was hoping that this would apply to all enemies but again it would double already the shield that um that meredith gives so it's good that there's an additional shield for your um team or especially for collegium and next would be deep freeze throws a liquid nitrogen bomb dealing damage of 200 percent attack power to all enemies in the blast zone afflicting frozen for three seconds so this is going to be he has a lot of crowd control in his first three skills alone so again this is going to be frozen for three seconds when a target is frozen they get frostbite which makes them immune to new freeze and frozen effect for eight seconds but increases damage taken by 30 percent and reduces healing by effects by 50 percent so again first three skills very good in terms of crowd control debuffs and uh, again another here um increases damage taken and reduces healing so again a very nice support to have um i think um meredith and jack will complement each other in collegium so it all depends on the remaining three on who are you going to bring and for his ultimate skill we have cryotherapy pours a cooling gel on an ally with the lowest hp again affected allies recover six percent of max hp per second for six seconds takes 30 percent less damage and gain sp 30 percent faster while the gel lasts jack cannot use this skill on himself so it's it's going to be a cheat code if he he can apply this on himself so increases hp recovery to nine percent instead of six reduces cooldown and level four is reduce damage received by 40 percent instead of 30 and increases sp by 40 also instead of 30. so again um if you want to ask me on uh, b before i show you a kind of a team comp a new team comp for collegium let's try out his his 
<laughs> his weapon. So again, he looks cooler here. Um, way more improved gear. And let's go to Caligan. So your first five, just in case you want to build it together with Jack, would be Jack. Then you have Meredith. Definitely you have Connor. The problem with this lineup is you don't have any offense. So, so you really have to bring Cookie along. And I would suggest, I would suggest that you bring Caddy. Because Caddy will, is for me, survives longer than this guy, Henry. Henry's too squishy. Um, I know he deals a lot of damage, but he doesn't survive well. But again, it's still a toss up between Caddy and Connor for your five so again this team is good in terms of defense in terms of um uh, debuffs in terms of support but Collegium still lacks that firepower that we are still looking for so the next one um by the way is uh gung gun gung gun gung near okay so let's take a look at her legend her weapon her change in the tire so just a small revision to how Alexa is going to look. And by the way, Alexa is going to be um, is going to be the successor of Astra in the story. So she's going to be very badass, and uh, she's nerdy and sexy in a way. And let's take a look at her passive, by the way. Okay, so for her passive, it's going to be Plasma Charge. Passive, when Alexa charges, she deals 150% of attack power to enemies in her path. Alexa gains charge buff whenever she uses skill. Alexa also at, at, attack power increases by 20% per charge stack. At 5 charge stacks, it's going to be 100% uh, stack. She gains overcharge, which increases her attack power by 100% and reduces all skill cooldowns. Okay, so nice passive to have. Very nice support for what she does. Level 2 is increased charge. Stacks up to 2 per skill. Increases overcharge duration by 4 seconds. So a nice passive to have. Um, it complements her, um, her, her melee capabilities. As you can see here, she is a melee hero. Let's take a look at her next skill, Run and Hide. When Alexa or an ally drops below 40% HP, Alexa dashes towards her lowest HP ally in range, healing them and herself for 12% of her max HP. Okay, while using the skill, Alexa is immune to CC effects and temporary un un invulnerable. After using the skill, Alexa takes 40% reduced damage for 6 seconds. <coughs> Cooldown for this skill reduces when Alexa is attacked. Okay, level 2 is increased healing to 18% instead of 12%. And skill triggers upon hitting 60 HP instead of 40. So, she's a, she's, she has melee capabilities. But she also has support. So take note of that. Um, her next skill is Fiery Wake. Charges forward the enemy with the lowest HP in range. And deals 250% attack power. Leaving a Blazing Trail the last 6 seconds. Blazing Trail burns enemies for 40 attack power and per second. And enemies take 30% increased damage for 6 seconds. If the charge uh, target dies, Alexa gains 150 SP after charging. Alexa gains 40 evasion. Alexa basic Alexa's basic attack attack decreases this skill's cooldown in each hit. So increases charge attack power to 300 and blazing trail to 60 over attack per second. Increase SP gain to 230. So again, another good complement to what she does uh, enhances her attack, enhances also her evasion as well. Um, she also has damage over time with uh, uh, burn damage. This is going to last up to 6 seconds. So that is her last skill. And her ultimate skill is Plasma Belt. Alexa dashes forward a short distance and spins her Chakram. The Chakram is actually this. The circular... Um, it looks like a, a life preserver, but uh, never mind. <laughs> Uh, the chakra spins 12 times around Alexa, dealing damage at 150% attack power hit. 
during Plasma Belt, Alexa has 50% damage reduction and 40% increased evasion for 6 seconds. So damage reduction she has in her other skills and she has here. And she gets increased evasion for this one. Level 2 increases Chakram damage to 200% attack power per hit. Level 3 increases hit by the Plasma have uh, hit by, by the Plasma have... 50% reduced healing effects for 8 seconds. And also this gives her 50% life, lifesteal at 4% during Plasma Belt only. But again, she is she's a mixed bag of a melee hero. So she could be a good complement. She could be a good complement to Collegium. Why not? Um, they need a melee hero and she is melee. I think she, she, she could work well with Connor anyway. Um... I'm not sure yet which faction will she will she meld towards with, but again, from from the what what is lacking in Collegium, I think she is going to be good in Collegium. Um, she's going to be adding to their buffs anyway for the faction, so I think she's going to be good all around for any of the factions, but particularly for Collegium. So that's it, guys. That is it. Ma that sorry. That is my. Um, review of the skills of both Jack and Alexa. So, happy summons, happy recruitment. Um, I'm gonna make another video for summons after this one. So, hope you guys look out for that one. So, anyway, for those who have uh, stuck this far, please um, subscribe because this helps my channel a lot. And also, guys, take care, stay safe. This is the Warden, and I'm out of here.